When I went in the living room to share the news, one of our pastors was there. And he said, we don't need to pray for Eli right now because God knows what Eli needs. But what we need is to remember who God is. So all at once, about 40 of us spoke truth of who we knew God to be. It was a beautiful moment, but not remarkable. When I went back to the hospital that night, a nurse was running down the hall to meet me. She said, Eli woke up and he's had seven bottles while you were gone. And when I went into his room, a scratch that was on his face had vanished. God healed Eli. The bleeding on his brain stopped. The seizure stopped. Eli stabilized and within a few weeks was home. Then the hard work began.